Hi, this is Reggie with Stupid Raisins. In this video, I will show you how to put markers in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to share with you three ways to put markers in Final Cut. By keyboard, shortcut, by playing, and by modify. So let's get it on! Let's start with the first method. Just go over to your timeline, then find a spot for the marker, and just press M. Say... here. Press M. If you want to rename your marker, just double click the marker, then change it to whatever you like. Let's say, uh, splash sound effect. Sound. Sound effect. Done. By the way, we share new videos all the time to help you with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. Back to the tutorial! For the second method, you can also add the marker while your clip is playing. Just let your clip play by hitting spacebar, then press M. M, 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 M. If you want to delete a marker, double click the marker, then click delete. Or you can also delete it by right clicking the marker, then delete. Just so you know, you can't move the markers by dragging like so, as you can see. It can't be dragged. So in order to move your marker, you have to right click on your marker and then cut. And then find a spot for your marker. For example, like here. Just hover your playhead, then command V to paste the marker. That's it. So simple, right? For the third method, go over to your timeline, then scrub through. If you want to leave a marker, let's say right here, press option M. This will add the marker and you can also rename it immediately. Add sound effect. You can also change the type of marker here. You have your standard marker, your to-do marker, and then your chapter markers. Done. By the way, playing a clip while pressing Option M will stop the playback. So this is not ideal for batch marking. Okay? Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. But if you want to learn more, I've made another video about how to put watermark in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.